Good morning, Goranges are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 17th of February. Uh, I've been away enjoying the sunshine and I'm back now to show you what we have in the sale. One interesting lot again this week. So let's kick off, look at these, 12 of these chairs, upholstered in green leather, studded, uh, look like sort of traditional boardroom sort of fare. The shepherd's crook arm has got a nice feature, a little bit sort of gravy coloured in the finished perhaps one might say so perhaps a bit of a repolish needed but good long set of chairs in at the bargain price estimate anyway of three to four hundred pounds and they come in with the boardroom table that's a separate lot um, you know, probably dates from the 1970s I would think could be a little bit earlier but not much that's in at four to six hundred like good piece of furniture to those that need a boardroom table and um, I guess there aren't so many board meetings these days but what else can we find I like this nice Georgian tray top commode what about colour on it? Tambor's working. Oh, let's see if we can get that out. As usual, sort of conversion to the pull-out trade there. But uh, reasonable condition, a little bit of wear around the back. That's in at 250, 300. Quite a nice smart thing. Traditionally, people like them as sort of bedside paintings and the like. Little oil by uh, Sharon up here. That's all, anyway. There we go. Uh, that's lot 483, 150 to 200. And what else can we find? Let's go wander and see. I've seen some large furniture, bookcases, satin wardrobe here, or linen press. Needs a bit of work, that knob's gone on it, but uh, I can see the trays are inside it, just because they're not repaired. Sort of early Victorian William IV bookcase here, quite a lot of bookcase. Again, nice colour, adjustable shelves, lot 936, and at four to five hundred pounds. I do like this little split ring turning and the spiral fluting here. Not a bad looking piece of furniture, that. And then onwards, well, quite a lot of oriental works in this sale. Uh, I'm told vivariums are back in fashion, sort of growing your ferns and things inside glass pots. Well, here are some carboys here, lot 194. There's six in the lot, they're at 60 to 80 pound estimate. Another lot over here, someone's been growing them. And uh, if you fancy taking, uh, taking up that as a hobby, uh, now's the perfect opportunity. Another lot there at 50 to 70. Other furniture scattered about, but some sort of decorative paintings in this cell I've noticed. <clears throat> Quite a long way after David Hockney, but there we are, it's lot 477. A lot cheaper than the original that sold recently for record money. This one's in at three to five hundred pounds, it'll all on board there. If you want something by a sort of original hand, rather than uh, a reproduction, then this little pair of oils by Phyllis Morgans. There they are. Uh, one is Fife, the other is Saint-Tropez. And uh, estimate on that pair, 80 to 120 pounds, so it's a modest money. Let's go and have a look out the back. What do we see? Well, these are kind of fun, much admired. Uh, before the days of, of plastering your broken leg, I'm told these were used instead. These are medical leg frames. There we are. Sort of very much in the vibe of sort of decorative antiques these days. Lot 173. Modest money, 30 to 50 pounds. Let them find their level, I think, is the view we've taken. And should you need some tongs for your fire, well, my goodness. That's the set of tongs. You sort of need to be a superhuman to handle them. But that's lot 174. You know, 40 to 60 pounds of fire tongs. What else do we see? Well, running round, there's a, after Lucian Freud, there's a self-portrait essentially, lot 417, in a two to three hundred pounds. Large collection of stoneware bottles here, lot 166. What else has caught my eye on this sale? A number of uh, Sutcliffe models. These uh, steel, built of steel it says on them. And these obviously have never been used, they're in, in mint condition. That's lot 203 and 80 to 120. There are others scattered about throughout the sale. Then onwards, quite a bit of Japanese ceramics this time. These Katani figures here. Very large samurai there and a the smaller boy. Then at lot 213, in at 2 to 300. We'll pick up on more oriental as we go. Morning, Max. In the jewellery, Roger says there are a few rather nice little bits and pieces tucked away in the cabinets. So do have a look at that. Meanwhile, I'm going over the back here. I like the look of these, lot 229. A pair of Satsuma jars. I mean, Satsuma these days, Japanese earthenware pottery, traditionally with this um, fine gilt decoration of variable quality, essentially due to date and make. Um, and it's kind of polarized a bit. The really good stuff makes them loads of money. We've got some very good bits coming up in the spring, sir. And then the lesser stuff doesn't make so much. But these are in at 150 to 200. I think they're just a little bit nicer than the ordinary. Uh, something a bit different there, this uh, Coro with the boys and the cockerel finial. 
That's in at 150 to 200. That is, no, it's not. It's an 8120. That's about 255. And there are, this is sort of typical later Satsuma with the dragon running around it. You see a lot of, used to see a lot of pieces like that. Again, like many things, don't see so much these days. And there's the cup and saucer with it, lot 232, 70 to 100 pounds. Not big money, but um, kind of fun, interesting. There's some little Satsuma figures there, lot 236. So um, then in addition, we've got Okimono and we've got little net skiers and, and other bits and pieces running throughout. Down below, usual array of miscellaneous from miniatures to camera lenses to medals, daggers, Fleming books. Selection of silver as ever. Have a look at the catalogue for that. Then, down the line, what else can I see? Well, this caught my eye. Ian Houston. Reasonable name. Scottish um, Scottish scene there. Low tide uh, Penrish, I think. And uh, Peniche, rather. And uh, lot 438, in at 150 to 200 pounds. Got a touch of the Edgars, uh, Edward Seagulls about it, that one, in sort of stylistic terms. Um, otherwise, let's go down the line. A few bottles of wine, nothing mostly really special this time. We'll go and have a look out the back, see what we can find. Two of these in the south, lot 462, Derek Inwood, a distinctive style there, and a sort of quirky title for those works. And then along here, this is quite smart, this is nice, miniature, Victorian's Wellington chest, or collector's chest, depending on how you view the uh, requirement for seven drawers to be a Wellington chest, but uh, nicely done, banded, walnut, a little bit faded, lot 802, in at two to three hundred pounds. And again on the miniature furniture front, on the miniature pier cabinet, the lot 805, just in at 40 to 60, that one. There's another of the uh, Derek Inwards. See what I mean? It's a sort of distinctive style. This title of that is Dark Light. Uh, the label on the back it tells us, fortunately. And then, uh, again, these sort of decorative paintings. After the Fernand Leger, a number of these in the sale, about three or four oils on board. This one's at 150 to 200 pounds. Not the real thing, but the real thing would be a whole lot more money. In. So we've been very careful to state that in the catalogue, that they are after the artist, not by. There's another one, quite a good strong image there. Again, 150 to 200. In the furniture then, again as usual, mixture of carpets, have a look on the website for carpets and rugs, search for both words depending on the size you're looking for. Again, most of these are very inexpensive. This huge thing here, lot 845, uh, in at three to four hundred pounds. Um, I've got the measurements on the ticket, but there's lots of it there. That looks to me to be about oh, 16, 16 foot by 14 foot, something like that. Big carpet, cheap and fitted. And then elsewhere, we seem to have large dressers come in this time. So we've got these uh, huge painted pine dressers, kitchen cabinets here, lot 841. This one's in at two to three hundred pounds. This one, 842, matches it. The reason we've split them, not everybody's going to want both. If you want both, you're ha welcome to bid for them both. We have the glazed doors here that go over the upper sections if you want them to be enclosed. So, uh, and then perhaps you'd like to decorate them with the uh, saddler wear. Uh, ceramics here, which are very much like the Cornish ware, but uh, obviously got the red colouring. An array of different titles here on these little pots, peel, sage, parsley, all sorts there, various pots there. And that's not 126, in at 80 to 120 pounds. So there we have it, whole array again. Is this in the cell? I like this gate. I found this gate in a garage in, um, or somewhere in Northern Kent. And it's, it's fantastic, this gate. I love it because it's so heavy, look how solid it is. Well, it's a blooming tub. Really nice, lovely, wrought iron, fleur de lis that's never going to rust. It's so chunky, it's going to last forever. That's not 840, it's in a modest estimate, about £50, pounds, but you know, it's here to be sold, we shall see. To the right person, that's worth more. So uh, that's not 840. I'll end, the, end uh, today on that, but do have a look at the website. All sorts of interesting things to see. Sale starts at 10 o'clock, David's on the rostrum. We look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.